everyone, welcome to Calvary. So I know that you've all been missing the tours that we do on Sundays um, and in the classes, so I've, I'm going to film a virtual tour for you of the third suite and of the ward so you can have a look at our rooms. I thought that I would just start, and this is how I can start the tours, by talking to you about how to come in if you get um, to the hospital out of hours. So um, always call third suite first before you come, so that we know you're coming, and um, bring in your white book from the turn of the access room. So the best place to park if it's out of hours is outside the emergency department, which you probably know where it is, it's on the other side of um, the, the hospital, okay? And you come up the stairs in this area here, so this is the stairs here. You come up these stairs as usual. Um, this will all be closed down if it's out of hours, okay? What you do is you come to these buttons here, and one of them says birth, birth suite, and you just press that button there. So when you press that button, it um, goes to a buzzer in birth suite and we'll know that you're here. Then what you do is you just turn around and the doors behind will open up. So let's go down this way. What I'm going to do first is take you down to one of the rooms on the ward and we'll have a look at that. Then we'll go look at birth suite. Okay, let's go. So on the ward we have a combination of rooms. We've got some shared rooms and some single rooms. The shared rooms only ever have two people in them. They're quite spacious and your partners can still stay, even in the shared rooms. Okay, so let's go have a look at one of the single rooms though. Okay, let's go into room four. Okay, so this is one of our ward rooms. Everyone's got a bed and a cot for the baby, okay? And they've all got somewhere for the partner to stay, this really um, uncomfortable chair. It actually falls out to be a bed, probably still quite uncomfortable, but um, somewhere for partner to sleep. So the shared rooms have the same sort of setup for partners to sleep in overnight. Uh, if you have a normal birth and everything goes well, you'll only be on the ward for one night. Uh, if you have a caesarean, it's generally three nights, all right? And all of the rooms have their own ensuite on the side. And um, yeah, so this is our ward room. Have a look at the ensuite. Let's turn the light on. There we go, so an ensuite and shower. There we go. Okay, so let's go have a look at birth suite. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot from women towards the end of pregnancy is, um, when should you come into birth suite? People worry about that if you're having your first baby. When's the best time to come into birth suite? So what I often say to women is if you're worried at all, just call us. There's always going to be a midwife at the end of the phone um, and we can help you make a plan. Okay? So early labour um, generally builds up slowly for women having their first babies. Often you'll find that it'll go for a day or even a night. Um, and the best place for you to be labouring in early labour is at home. Um, where you're comfortable and feel relaxed. Okay? So um, you're free to call us, but if you're in early labour, we'll encourage you to stay at home as much as you can. When your contractions become regular and strong, so we talk about three, to three in every 10 minutes and about 60 seconds long, if they start to um, feel like they're doing that, that's a really good time to give us a call and let us know that you've started to establish in labour. Let's keep going. Um, you still can stay at home for a bit longer if you like to, but um, it's good for us to know that you're out there labouring. Okay, so this is our birth suite through here. We have six rooms in birth suite. Okay. So three of the rooms have baths, um, and all, the, all of the rooms have their own en suites with a shower. Um, if you're really keen to labour or have water birth, uh, or labour in the bath, then just give us a, let us know when you call and tell us that you're coming in um, and we'll do our best to get you a room with a bath. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to go have a look at one of the rooms at the end here. Okay, so welcome to our birth room. Let's go in and have a look. So all the rooms have the same things in them. So they're all set up the same. Some of them are slightly larger and have a bath, but they're all set up the same with all the same things. So let's have a look. They've all got these birthing beds that we can get into all sorts of positions for you to labour on, so you don't have to just lie on your back, which is the hardest way to labour. We have fit balls for you to sit on, yoga mats if you feel like kneeling on the floor. Um, we've got short lamps, C 
CD for you to plug in to your phone so you can play your music. Um, we also have a bathroom over here, so I'll let you have a look in there. Let's turn the light on and have a look. So this is one of the rooms, it's a bit dark, we're just going to turn the light on. Okay, so this is our bathrooms um, with a big bath for you if you'd like to labour or birth in the bath. Okay, and all of the rooms have everything we need for your labour. So when you come in, you're allocated a room and that's your room for the rest of the labour. Obviously you don't have to share birth rooms. We won't move you unless you would like to move to a room with a bath and one becomes free. Other than that, you just stay in the same room. Um, they all have the baby resuscitators in case baby needs a bit of help when they're first born so that you can see your baby while we're um, giving it some breaths and um, doesn't have to be separated or taken out of the room and we get baby back to you as quickly as possible. So everything we need is in this room. You don't have to leave the room. We have everything we need here. So they're all, all the rooms pretty much look like this. So yes, that's our tour. And if you have any questions, please just ring Birth Suite. We'll help you anytime.